buddy, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Boy, have I got a really cool guitar for you. You look at this and you go, wow, what's the deal? Well, this is a 1938 pre-war Rex Royal made by K. Now, I want to tell you, the finish on this thing has started to flake off in certain areas. And it just, you know, it's going to do that. I mean, that's just... Uh, you know, when people look at it, they go, oh, it was uh, player wear. It's like, no, it's not player wear. It's just, you know, they, they didn't really put a whole lot into their finishes back in the day. And uh, some of them just, you know, they got dry and they started finish crazing and some of the stuff started flaking off. And you can see it all over in certain areas of the guitar uh, that where the stress on the guitar is is where the, the paint has started to uh, actually flick off. Now, it's not like it's coming off all over the place. Uh, it's not coming off at all. I don't see it in the in the case or in my hands when I play it, uh, but uh, it's definitely uh, an old old timer, and it's really cool. Now we uh, we had somewhat of a challenge uh, uh, dating this guitar. Now we we are getting close in the 1938 era. That's why I'm going to call it a 1938. Part of it is uh, the Rex Royal. Uh, overlay on the uh, headstock uh, this only came about in the, a couple of years and uh, and that's the one thing that we got uh, for uh, for our date and the other thing was these unbelievable tuners in the back I just love these things these are Cluson manufactured Chicago Illinois uh, and they have uh, uh, Cluson manufacture and patent number on them so the patent number also helps us to date it to uh, the pre-war era now the guitar doesn't weigh anything at all. I mean, this is a very, very, very light guitar, uh, and it's spruce on the top and mahogany on the back and sides. Uh, it's all original, I'm happy to say. Uh, it's even got uh, the Rex um, uh, pick guard on it, which is uh, logoed on here, and uh, looks like one screw is maybe, uh, it doesn't match the other screw, so we got one screw, okay, that, that isn't original. Tailpiece is original, the uh, uh, bridge is original, uh, tuners, of course, are original, and it's just an outstanding guitar. Now, when we got it, of course, it played terrible. <laughs> uh, these old guitars, of course, they don't have truss rods in them, and uh, the necks will uh, will start to go on you after a uh, period of time. So we invested the money in this guitar, and we had a complete neck off uh, reset done on this, uh, which is a very expensive proposition, but this guitar is certainly well worth that investment in the guitar. Uh, Jeff the Tech did it for us, and he did an outstanding job. It plays great. I mean, this guitar probably plays better today than it played when it came out of the factory. I mean, they just they were kind of slamming these together back in the day. And uh, I'm sure it took a lot stronger hands to play it back in 1938 than it does in uh, 2019. Uh, it looks like the fretboard is rosewood. It's very dark. Uh, it could have been a stained rosewood. Uh, nice fret markers on it. Original uh, nut. And I got to say, I love the neck on these. Now, back in the, the, the pre-war days, they had sort of a V-neck on their, on their guitars. And they had varying types of V-necks. Some of them were very, very severe, where you'd actually grab it and you could just actually feel a very point on the, on the back of your hand. And then they went from that to more of a, of a gentle V, and that's what I would call this. Now, it's a, it's a fairly thick neck. Um, I, I wouldn't call this chunky by any uh, standpoint, uh, but it does have a nice V to it. And uh, for me, you know, I'm used to playing more modern guitars, and this guitar feels great in my hand. I mean, I have no trouble at all playing this guitar at all. And it's just really, really a beautiful, beautiful guitar. What's really cool is just looking in the back a little a bit uh, earlier, and they don't have braces in there. There's actually a fabric in there of some sort uh, that must uh, uh, hold something together back there. But uh, it's just what a neat old guitar, and it just it plays and sounds great. <laughs>
No fret outs. There we go. this is a nice guitar. Uh, like I said, it plays great, it sounds great, it's light as a feather, uh, even, uh, look at there, it's even got the, the wooden end pin in this guitar. It's just absolutely outstanding. The other thing that I'm going to pair it with, I can't tell you that this was the original case because it is not. However, uh, as you all know, I love having original cases for our guitars and this guitar will not be an exception. I've got a 30s uh, era case for it. Uh, which is just a really cool case. I've been waiting and waiting for the right guitar to come along and uh, I decided that was the one. Uh, it fits the uh, guitar absolutely perfect. Uh, now these old cases, they have this real heavy, sort of a lizard uh, sort of uh, Tolex to it. Uh, it's got leather. Uh, actually, I don't think that is leather. I think it's some kind of a, a material on there that's leather-like on the uh, uh, edges and the binding. And of course, it's got all your uh, hinges on the back, even the leather hinge in the middle is still intact. Uh, and then you open it up and they have this royal uh, uh, purple color inside. And all these guitars from the 30s and 40s, uh, their cases had this case, was their deluxe case. Now this one says uh, Protex. It's got a keep accessories in pocket. Uh, it's even got a, uh, looks like a patent number for this uh, case. I mean, it's just an outstanding case. Uh, accessory boxes here, little bit of damage in the uh, butt end where the guitar has been going in. Might have been a little bit of mildew at one time. We cleaned it up a lot and made it just very, very nice. And it's absolutely beautiful and just looks great with that 1938 pre-war Rex Royal guitar made by Kay. What an outstanding guitar, all original and uh, comes with this really cool uh, vintage correct case. Check it and all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com. And by the way, we've been uh, telling everyone to uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, YouTube, is that right? Yeah, our YouTube channel. We have over, what is it now, 300 demos in there easily. 300 demos of cool guitars. And people have been saying, hey, we saw you on, uh, on the uh, video thing. And it's like, yeah, well, that's our YouTube channel. And we have a lot of subscribers now. And uh, for those of you that like to follow us, uh, you can actually subscribe. So just go to uh, YouTube and put in Lawman Guitars and you're going to find me. And uh, you can spend a sick day or something watching my demos all day long. We've got plenty of them out there for you. So check us out at www.lawmanguitars.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Lawman Guitars. Thanks a lot for watching my demos. I appreciate you a lot.